Hello and welcome. So in this video, I will tell you how to set up your virtual environment for the data science or machine learning projects. So for this, I'm going to use the Azure platform. Okay, you can use any one, but this tutorial is for the Azure platform. Okay. So this is all about how to access Jupyter Notebook, how to load data sets and how to work on them. Okay. So just type the Azure Notebooks. Just run, just run it and you will find the first link that is notebooks.zero.com just click on it so once you click on it there is a dashboard in the front of you and you have to sign in with your microsoft account if you don't have any microsoft account you can create that one just click on this i have already a microsoft account so i'm going to log in so as you can see guys no no account you just create one by clicking there so i have my account so i'm going to sign in okay Okay, so now I'm sign, signed in in Microsoft account for the virtual notebooks. Okay, so as you can see, these are my previous projects. So what you have to do guys, once you log in with your Microsoft account on Azure platform, just click on the My Projects. So once you click on My Projects, just... Oh, okay. So just click on a new project. And name a project that yes, i suppose you're going to take a title project not title just a sample okay just create one so once you create that product you will get a separate folder regarding the name of your project that is sample okay so how to add jupyter notebook in this just click on the plus icon so click on notebook so when you click on this you first of all you have to select in which language you are going to work on that Jupyter notebook there are basically three terms are there like a python r and f hash so select any one just i'm going to select python 3.6 and uh, notebook you can give any name for the sample notebook okay once you run this it will take some time and your notebook will create it as you can see this one is a sample notebook is it actually it is not the notebook it is something else like a file okay let's try again okay okay so this is the sample notebook so this is your jupyter notebook and how to load data set on this just for loading the data set you have to click on this but i'm not going to show the, you guys just open the sample notebooks so it will open in a new window and this is all your your jupyter notebook okay so as you can see guys this is a sample notebook and so on okay it will take some time and you have a network connection for accessing this okay so you can work on this let's let me show you guys friend so you just give your command in the cells and for running this you have to click shift plus enter once you click shift plus enter it will execute it and you will see the output in beside your Return command. Okay, so as you can see, this is the output. Output and okay. So that's how you will work on the Jupyter notebook. So let me show you guys. I need some extra things. Like if you want to insert any cells, so just click on insert. And if you want to cell below, and you have two options: insert cell below or insert cell above. Just click on this. So as you can see, guys, the 
itself has been inserted okay so you can also give markdowns and heading in your jupyter notebook this is one of the best thing about the jupyter notebook so for this just suppose i'm going to write anything and i i want to change into this into heading okay so just click on this and select heading so press ok and run this okay so as you can this is now heading this is not a code so this will not execute it so this will benefit you to commenting your codes or write some documentation on your script file so that's how you we will work on the jupyter notebook and how to load data set so for this we have a right on the right corner we have this things just click on this icon we have two options from url or the from computer just click on from computer and you can choose file from your destination folder click on open and the file has been loaded okay so that's how we work on the jupyter notebook on the azure platform if you still have any doubt how to access jupyter notebook and how to how to work on this have any doubt related to jupyter notebook just mention in a comment okay so thank you so much for watching this video